with Darren from TurboClone talking about the TurboClone unit and some support products that you might want to use if you're trying to get maximum root production with the TurboClone unit. Hey Darren, do you mind just talking to me a little bit about some combinations of products they would want to put in the water to get maximum root production? Yeah, no problems. Any gels will work. You know, take a cutting, dip it in a gel, put it in the system. The gel will wash off uh, in the first, you know, 10 minutes or so. But let that be your nutrient base for days one, two, and three, even four. And then once you see the root nubs show, then put in your roots uh, accelerator or uh, rapid start is another one from GH that I've heard is really good. I haven't tried it. That myself. is a really good price point, and yeah. it's a very good product. I will even cut back on, uh, say, roots accelerator on the ratio that they suggest on the bottle. I almost half it, and it still works great. Okay. So make sure, though, also you got to watch the pH. Keep it around five seven, five eight. That's what we found is optimal. So your pH has to be below six to get yeah. maximum root, or fast root production. Yeah, from our test, that's what works best. Um, so I'm just telling you based on the, our experience. Uh, and then also water temperature, optimal water temperature has been about 70 to 72. So you want to have these things running in a room temperature of about, uh, I'd say 70 degrees is, is optimal. But, you know, plant species are different, some will react to different uh, temperatures, some may like it a little bit warmer. You kind of have to trial and error and go from there. Okay, so just a simple root accelerating product. Um, what about somebody that doesn't have access to that, some B vitamins? Um, and what about some base nutrients? Um, would the cutting regiment on some base nutrients from different programs, would that work? Yeah, and even Clonex, uh, both those are, are good price points. Um, and you'll, you'll have, just like you said, uh, a lot of the B1, uh, and just the, the ingredients in them are perfect for cloning, and uh, you get great results. Uh, again, wait for the root nuts to show before you put your nutrient uh, solution in there. Because really there's not much uptake until you have those root nubs uh, you know, forming. Uh, and it's not really doing your cutting any good until you have that. Uh, if you're in a very dry or uh, arid environment, the domes as you see this one have might be a good one uh, to invest in just so you keep the transpiration rate down on your cuttings and your leaves uh, and they won't wilt or uh, get yellow uh, quickly. Uh, if you're in a very humid uh, region or your grow room is you know, 50, 60% or higher on the humidity, then you'll be good. Just spray the canopy of the leaves, uh, your cuttings, maybe once or twice a day and uh, you'll be fine. Make sure you got no oscillating fans blowing on them, of course. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But you do want to have good fresh air, uh, you know, circulating in your grow room. Uh, so that's important. You don't want kind oxygen. of stale air. Need oxygen. Yeah. Um, check out our new Turbo Mini. It's 24 cider and it only retails for $164.95. It's an awesome price point. You guys will love it. So for all those folks that want to get their feet wet with clone machines, here's a cost-effective product that you can utilize to do so. It's the new Turbo Clone Mini.